because there are billions and of involved in it. But it doesn't stop there, Deputy Speaker. Not only is there that a peer-reviewed study, there is another study which summarises all the ivermectin studies. I'd just like to go through what the numbers actually are here, Deputy Speaker. Early treatment. There are 23 studies, sorry, 25 early treatment studies, and 23, 92 per cent of them, report positive effects. The random chance of that happening is one in 103,000. For late treatment, there are 21 studies, and 90.5 per cent of them show it's an effective treatment. The random chance of that is one in 9,000. For prophylaxis, there are 14 studies, and all 14, 100 per cent of them, show it's an effective treatment. The random chance of that is one in 16,000. In total, there are 60 studies, 56 of them, 93.3 per cent report a positive effect. And the random chance of that happening, Deputy Speaker, is estimated at, wait for it, one in two trillion. So you, you, on the other side here, you may well be right. This may all just be a lucky coincidence. There's a one in two trillion chance that you are right, that ivermectin is ineffective treatment. Because that is what the numbers, that is what the evidence, that is what the data actually says, Deputy Speaker. And I would like to, conclu I would like to conclude, conclude, Deputy Speaker, if you, if you want to read one particular study on the effectiveness of ivermectin, one particular peer-reviewed study on ivermectin, I would suggest to you in the Journal of Biomedical Research and Clinical Investigations, Deputy Speaker, study published last year. Now, what they did in this study, Deputy Speaker, this was in across four hospitals in Argentina. And they had two groups. They had 407 people, hospital workers, doctors and nurses.